All right. What a but way to <laughs> end off the Saints' career. But <laughs> yeah. All right. Going on to game one between Sid and Advo. You know, Dark Samus and Joker, respectively. This is what we've been seeing from them all night. Yeah, this it's kind of like their standard picks. The his, jo <laughs> his Joker is scary, let me tell you. Classic Michigan Invader versus <laughs> the Windsor Defender. Sid versus Advo. Oh, man. All right, getting those um, bombs out early to try and protect the ledge there. Because he's, he's been using them a lot to try and get um, confirms with those uh, with the charge shots. Mm -hmm. And just like other smash attacks, you know, up tilt. Uh, bomb and up tilt's really good at low percents. And uh, a ledge trap, a good like ledge trapping option, reverse edge guard. Because, you know, if they if Sid would happen to go for him off stage and he lays a couple bombs out, could be a little bit, uh, or something like that, even. Try and like uh, prevent the ledge grabbing as well. Oh, the recharge shot off stage. Nice reverse edge guard from Apple here. Not quite getting both hits with the down arrow. Let's see, would have been able to confirm into something big. The floor. Oh, Tetra nice Card. counter. Tetra Card is huge. <laughs> oh my. We saw him earlier in his set, I think, yeah, versus Sortie, where Tetra Card, like reached so far. And I think like, the shockwave from his down B like, killed him off of that. It's crazy. And I think it comes out frame three, according to Sid. Ooh. The drag down up air, not doing much though. Kind of putting him in a detrimental spot, but something which he can get out of. Let's so see. Using the up air drag downs off stage kind of always kinda seems ill advised. Yeah. It depends on the character you're against. Usually, like, if uh, an aerial has a drag down, you'd want to use it if it's on, like, your forward air or back air, not your up air, because that means you have to be below them at all times. But Joker does have a good recovery. I'm trying to answer with the up B there, but not quite hitting the mark. Oh, the trade. Sending them each uh, both flying. Literally one solid back air from either of these guys. Champ one from Advo there, kind of pushing him away. He's trying to set him up for like a tech chase option. Down air, okay, not gonna send him where he wants him though. Okay, oh, baited. up smash. To uh, answer for the, the tether grab there. On our side coming out here could actually be a, a godsend to give uh, Sid some extra oh, yeah. lead at this point. Um, Joker, so meaty. Joker in advantage is a scary character because once he has our sent out, he can just take the game and run. Like that's how that's how this character works. Oh, that a little was, greedy though. That was like thirty something damage off a down throw combo. He's insane. Mm -hmm. Two oh eight right now on Sid. Oh my. He, he he's uh, I think he knows that he has to kind of prove himself over Advo. And we've seen him do that before, a couple mm -hmm. weeks ago, taking a Smash class over Advo. Say, I think the last time he was here, it oh. did go into Sid's favor, like I said. The last uh, time he was here was two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. Just finally just pelts him off the top. Maybe this stock is done. Maybe Sid can take three Smash classes in a row. It definitely shows some extra consistency. I know he's been talking a lot on Twitter how like he enjoys like being able to win here like somewhat consistently but he wants to be like dominant wants to be consistent and then be able to take that into out of region tournaments which also challenges the rest of us to try and keep up with him absolutely and okay i think that was an up smash finally just taking out that info pretty early like early compared to sid stock rather he was like 140 but hmm. yeah. i wonder why he didn't offer the chain grab there because we've seen him do that up throw into um into that fast fall up air before and kind of like chain grab off of it, get like a hefty like 40, 50 percent off of it. It's crazy. Advo had a good little bit of trapping though at the side, put a ton of damage on Sid. Oh yeah, 100 percent. Oh, the good Tetra Card answering really early. Like I mentioned, it does come out pretty fast. You got to be careful when uh, trying to answer against a Joker with a non-true combo because Tetra Card or Rebel Scar can come out really quickly and kind of interrupt that, and uh, it puts you in a bad spot or it can kill you depending on what percent you're at. Uh, 136, not dying off the upbeat just yet. Nice job there from Sid using the gun to actually like help secure his landing. Oh yeah. Uh, the point blank charge? <laughs> yeah, down, down gun can kind of help with his landing, kind of like keeping the opponent, like, because you're, you're dealing damage below you. Mm -hmm. And usually when you're above somebody in this game, it's a bad spot because then it opens you up for potential juggling or a kill if yeah. they can read your, and read your landing, but. Ooh, nice shot there from Sid, reading that Advo is going to fall through that platform. With uh, with downward gun on Joker, it can kind of secure his landing so he can stay. Nice oh, shot. Oh, hard shot, a snipe off stage. Very yeah. nice. Sid was still in the midst of his air dodge animation, so there's no way he was getting out of that. Sid is schmoving this game, Mamba. Let's go. 
Gotta, we gotta rep Windsor, man. We gotta show them invaders what, what for. We fended off the Americans once before. We can do it again. <laughs> I mean, we can't get cocky, though. That's a low yeah, shield that's a, for I Sid. Know. And Advo. Oh, this Rebel last Scar dropping it too early. Good. The percentage racking up really quickly for Sid right now, but Arsene is out. He could just take this game right now. He's coming out at a pretty clutch time where that oh, the back air. Is back do air. It. That back air? We'll do it. That back air is crazy good. That back air does not have a sour spot, and it kills consistently on a lot of characters. A really good edge guard option, just like a big crescent right behind him. It's nuts, man. Let me tell you. Well, good job there for or just to make sure that that uh, didn't get out of hand. All right, all right, all right. So we got that uh, this uh, Metroid stage counter pick. Now he said if he wanted to counter pick, use a counter pick Sid, then he would uh, probably pick some Persona 3. Mass destruction on a battlefield stage was what he told me earlier. <laughs> so, all right. So we're picking a Samus instead. I wonder if that's just a flavor thing or if it's a uh, like a strategic decision. I oh, I, I don't know. I, I know there's he like said a. There's like virtually no difference. Yeah. Oh, no difference. Okay. I think one of them is a bit taller. <laughs> that's what I. That's what I remember hearing. Maybe this Samus is just maybe a bit darker to blend into the stage, just a little bit better. <laughs> He's got a, you got a camouflage. <laughs> oh my. <coughs> alright, alright, alright. Got the Arsene out really early. Well, that could be a bad thing for Sid right now. Is he racking up percentage? Oh, the down air crowd trying to answer with a f uh, up tilt there, but not quite. Oh, the Tetracarn, that wouldn't have done anything against the uh, Tether. The Zare, though, yeah, it would, but the, uh, the hitbox on Tetracarn is massive, so what am I to know? Dark Samus is slightly lower. Yeah, it hits slightly lower. Okay, I thought so. I thought Samus would be a bit taller. Oh, nice, Nicely uh, done there from Sid. Yeah, nice forward air coming up from Sid. Very oh, nice. he answers, right, answers instantly. Let's go. <laughs> uh, speaking of blending into the stage, I played a Game & Watch on... Lilac Cruise online, and I couldn't see him. <laughs> Feels bad. <laughs> I couldn't. Oh, with oh, it was charge shot. He hits lower. Okay, so I think that could be a little bit more helpful for edge guarding too. All right, Rebels guard getting that meter up a bit. Arsene is out. So let's see if Sid can try and pull the lead. Oh, nice combo. Arrow doesn't combo. care. He's just still going aggro, even though Arsene is out. Mm, oh yeah, he knows. He knows uh, where his entrances oh. are. He felt okay. that one though. Oh yeah, that, that was smashing him so hard he moved back in real life. Jeez. All right, trying to get the bomb, setting up a ledge, uh, ooh, ledge trap situation, but the tether guard will make it. Nice get up read from Advo there with the charge shot. Ne even though neutral get up is disgustingly good in this game, he can't really protect against everything. He must have caught him in the frames between his invincibility and him getting into shield. So. Yeah, the charge shot kind of lingers a little bit because it's so huge, right? Oh, so. yeah. And it can hit a lot faster if it's a lot bigger. Yeah. Oh, just catch like him that. by the foot. This is a ton of damage, and this is actually looking really good for Advo game number two. Oh, yeah. Let's see if, uh, I don't know if, uh, now, because Joker from Disadvantage plays a lot differently than All Joker right. from Advantage. Because Joker from Advantage wants to kind of press his lead and um, and keep you oppressed the entire game. But Joker from Disadvantage wants to play campier and get those hits where he really needs them, especially if he doesn't have Arsene out yet. So if Joker, if, um, if he can get Arsene out, at this percent and rack up a comp. Ooh, that Rebels Guard could have been very bad for uh, for Sid there. Kind of uh, sitting in the in the path of a charging charge shot. Right, at 148, hurt. that's definitely gonna kill. Yeah. Ooh, down gun, okay. Getting him off stage again, Advo. Now or never with our son. Oh, that's gonna do it. All right, yeah. The bomb into in, bomb into charge shot. It's a really good ledge guarding option and it's almost likely a confirm. Busting shields to just like catching getups, absolutely fantastic option. Maybe not busting shields anymore, but I know it used to be good. Yeah, it used to be, uh, like a side B and a charge shot would would break your shield. Yeah, but they're like, hmm, I need it, to nerf that. This may be too strong. <laughs> uh, may I ask who the charmers are on the mic right now? Well, we have our own Saints Gaming Danners and me, Pharaoh. So what's up, Caramel? <laughs> Oh, what's up, Space? Got more uh, London peeps showing up into the stream. You'll see me on Saturday. I'll let you know that. 
What's going on there? Uh, they got their monthly going on, Summer Smash School. Oh, fantastic. I shall right. be sure to follow. Uh-huh, yeah. <coughs> Let's see how I do there. I don't know. Uh, All right, it's sticking, always a toss-up. All right. Sticking the Samus, we're going to Omega Momentos. There we go. We got the, well, we got the Persona counter pick. I mean, both players prefer this one. I mean, it ain't Mass Destruction, but... Not, my, not the song of my choice either, but who knows? I honestly prefer... Uh, I right, tell people to come to monthly. Yeah, of course, dude. Well, I mean, uh, I'm organizing a carpool, so I'm gonna have at least five others with me. Sick. Yeah, we got that Windsor versus London crew battle happening really early. If if enough people come, of course. Mm -hmm. Represent. Let's go. Oh, oh no, no, no. Okay. Oh, he made it back. Okay, he still had his jump. Good. That tether, that tether always reaches. scares me because I never know how far it can actually go. It reaches really far. Same thing with his other uh, main Lucas. His tether reaches really far as well. These guys taking their time, taking it a little bit slower, but their grand finals ticket essentially on the line here. What is that priority on the neutral That air? was really strange. Whoa. It flanked even. I, I guess it had, okay. This is why Joker's with Arsene is top three. Because, yeah, I, I didn't even know he had transcendent priority on that move, but he apparently he does. And he has like, what, what the heck? <laughs> This is what I've been saying. I say Joker on his own is top 15. That's what I'm saying. Uh, somewhere between 10 and 15, I know he's there. But Joker with Arsene out is, is like one of the best characters in the game. Because Arsene oh, is sure. like, stupid busted, but totally yeah, fair. There's a reason why we only have him for like a couple seconds, right? <laughs> yeah. For 30 seconds, like also nice having Nice catch to from Advo. Also ticking down when you get hit. I think, that, I think that's totally fair and balanced, mm -hmm. in my opinion. It's like, okay, you go Super Saiyan for a few seconds, but if you get hit, then okay, you lose him. <laughs> nah, that's Super Saiyan. He goes Jojo, man. He, got it. he has a stand. Oh, I have to get it right. Our Santa adds more hitboxes, not just strong. Exactly, yes, because uh, Down Air does have two. Because he does have to hit the dagger first, and then our Sen's hitbox uh, happens afterwards. Now, our so, probably about to come out right now. There it is. And the second hitbox is definitely stronger, too, because that's what sends him further. This assault at the ledge oh, is my. brutal. From this, Advo. This ledge guarding. Advo has this game in the bag, it looks like. Oh, the Tetracon coming out, that wouldn't have protected Normally against he would have charged shot that. So Normally. <laughs> going for the counter there was actually really wise, but Advo, wise to it, not giving him it. All the, okay. Trying to answer with Rebels Guard there. Trying to build up his Arsene meter faster. Nice. Oh, he's going to kill off the top. Advo is running away with this game right now. Download complete, possibly? Advo looking so good. Trying right to now. answer with a be out of shield, but it's still not that good. So. <laughs> Samus has uh, some things fixed about her kit, but not everything. Like, people still fall out of her up B uh, and uh, I don't know, some other things that I don't remember at the moment, but. Okay, blasting on Marcin coming out, but he still has to deal with his first stock. Oh, not answering quite enough with the down air there. Okay, finally. Ooh, okay, there we go. Down smash at the ledge, answering there. That's only the one stock. <laughs> Point yeah. blank charge, why not? He can afford to do it, why not? All right, so it looks like it's just gonna be me on solo commentary right now, commentating this game. So, uh, all right, we got uh, Sid setting up some ledge guarding situations here. Oh, we up be the wrong way. That's not how you want this game to end. Feels bad. Advo taking that set 2-1, going on to Grand Finals. So, hello HP. All right, so we got HP coming on to stream right now. I think, um, I don't know who he's playing against, though. Who's he playing against? Ant? Okay, cool. Yay, another Ant set. Woo! Ant versus HP. Sorties. We got basically the same character, but with a different upbeat. So... <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Anyway. All right, so it looks like they're starting on PS2, the gentleman's stage. You know, it's just like standard around here. That's just how everything goes. But, you know, uh, PS2 does have its advantages and disadvantages for each different character. And I think for a sword character, it could be uh, pretty good to have those two platforms to alleviate some